from team. All right, we're tracking some showers moving through our southern and eastern counties. A lot of clouds, and basically, here's what you need to know. Everywhere across the valley, temperatures are cool. We're seeing clearing skies to the north, but the rainy weather will be to the south and east, and it will continue to move in that direction tonight. How much rain? Well, along the North Dakota, South Dakota border, we did get some areas with some elevated rainfall totals. Heavy bands of rain producing up to a Doppler radar estimated inch of rain. That heavy band is now pushing to just south of Wheaton and uh, is moving out of the I-29 corridor. That heavy band will be moving towards the Morris area. It's really going to miss most of our Lakes Country viewing area. Here we got this little dark green band right here. That's the band of showers that move through the FM area, producing three one hundredths of an inch of rain. Not a lot. Enough to wet the field or wet the stands at your football game. That's moving through Fergus Falls right now. It has passed through the FM area. It has passed through uh, Barnesville and Detroit Lakes. Pelican Rapids, things are uh, letting up as far as the sprinkles go in your area. And uh, southern and eastern Becker County seeing those showers exit. Another band of fast-moving showers moving through the Pingree and Buchanan areas at this time. Uh, that will be passing down. Look at the direction of movement of that to the south and east. So, clearing skies up here. That's the next thing we need to be concerned about for our overnight. Clear skies, calm winds, dry air, cools pretty rapidly. And there will be a chance for some patchy areas of frost for our Saturday morning. 57 degrees. Looking out to the west, we see the edge of the cloud deck. And that's a, a good sign. Wind from the west at 8 miles per hour. Grand Forks, we're seeing some sun out to the west as well. 64 on the thermometer. Wind under 10 miles per hour. 50s where we have the rain sh uh, showers pushing through the valley and temperatures are still in the mid 60s here where we're starting to see a little bit of sun in the Devil's Lake Basin and in Langdon. Langdon by the way 37 this morning. It was 59 right now in the uh, Thief River area 56 with some sprinkles in the Bemidji area. All right your hour by hour forecast shows this line of clouds and the showers quite well setting it into motion between now and 8. This is out of here, mainly out of our viewing area, although if you're in eastern Ottertail, Wadena County, maybe portions of Beltrami County, still a few sprinkles. But look at the skies will be clearing as we head towards the dark hours. Then tonight, temperatures quickly falling into the 40s, and overnight, I think the best chance for any frosty business is going to happen in northwest Minnesota. I think there will be a few spots that get down in those mid-30s, so it's just going to be an isolated touch of frost. It will not be widespread. But suffice it to say, your Saturday morning will be a chilly one, but sunny. And watch the winds. Tomorrow, they're from the south. That's good news. That brings warmer air up our way, and we'll enjoy the 60s for a midday hour. And yes, even some 70s for our afternoon if you're tailgating, no matter where your game is. It looks delightful for weather outdoors, dry, maybe a little breezy in the late afternoon with those winds increasing. Um, a few gusts to around 20 miles per hour and a quiet evening ahead. Fargo's planet. Rise and shine. It will be cool out there. 41 degrees. So if you're really early to the tailgating festivities, you may need that light jacket or stand really close to the grill. 66 degrees by midday and then after the game, temperatures will be in those low 70s, but it'll be a little breezier. Sunshine aplenty across the eastern third of North Dakota. A lot of 70s out there. Some mid 70s in and around Fargo and Look at this gorgeous sky. Here's some wave clouds near Fergus Falls this morning. A sunrise shot shared by Julie on Facebook. Thank you. Planning forecast. Warmer still on Sunday. Warmer still on Monday. And as we see the beginning of the uh, fall season, the autumnal equinox, that happens very early on Wednesday. We'll have a chance of some rain showers moving in, but still some 80s next week means we are not done with summer-like temperatures here in the valley. People keep lining up for a tailgating. You might end up giving a forecast for the front of the line and then have to have a different forecast for the end of the line. That's a pretty big line. That's yeah. a pretty big line. Later in sports, plenty of college football underway in the area this weekend, including the red-hot MSUM Dragons. Hear from them on their big game with Augustana this weekend. Up next, if you see a firefighter as you head into the grocery store, he's looking for money.